Number 46, letter A. What is the density of a woman who floats in fresh water with 4% of her volume above the surface? Um, this could be measured by placing her in a tank with marks on the side to measure how much water she displaces when floating and when held underwater. Only briefly. Um, so this concept is discussed in detail in number 36. All right, so I explained the concept very fully. I'm going to use the uh, formulas that uh, we derived essentially from that uh, problem in this problem. So um, please do check out number 36 to really understand uh, how this works. So um, oh, I realized I forgot the percent signs over here. Oops. <clears throat> anyway, so um, the formula that came, that kind of got spit out of that problem was uh, essentially this, that the fraction submerged of an object. Okay, the fraction submerged of an object is equal to the density of the object that's partially submerged or fully submerged, whatever, divided by the density of the fluid in which that object is floating in. So uh, what they told us was they told us that, you know, 4% of her volume is above the surface. So 4% of her volume is above the surface. How much is below the surface? Obviously 96%. So now in terms of our formula here, right? Um, this, the fraction submerged would be the amount or the percentage or the fraction basically uh, of the item or the object that is below or beneath the level of the fluid. So that's our 96%. Now this is talking about a fraction. So we're going to leave it in decimal term when we do our calculation. So it's 0.96. Actually, you know what? Before I do this, let me just solve. So um, the question is asking us what's the density of the woman and the woman is the object in the problem. Right, so we have the density, therefore I'm going to solve for this in terms of my variable. So the density of the woman will be equal to the density of the fluid times the fraction submerged, times the fraction of her body submerged. So the density then of the woman will be equal to the density of the fluid. They told us it's fresh water, right? So it's fresh water that has a value of 1,000 kilogram per cubic meter that you probably will have to memorize. It keeps coming up in all the problems anyway, so you don't necessarily have to sit there and do flashcards with them, but you should be doing enough practice where it's just kind of memorized vicariously. And here we are now going to then plug in the fraction submerged, and that's what we found of 0.96. So all we have to do is do the multiplication here. And we realize that the density of the woman should be approximately 960 kilogram per cubic meter. So that's pretty straightforward. <clears throat> Letter uh, B. Let's take a look at letter B. What percent of her volume is above the surface when she floats in seawater now? So basically I can use the same equation if I want and then I have to remember you know, what they're asking me. It says the volume above the surface. I could also create an equation right off the bat to find that out. It doesn't really matter here. But if you know, we are asked to now find the top part of the problem, right? The amount, uh, the volume of her body in terms of percent, um, that is above the water. So remember, if you knew how much is is uh, below the water, how would you then calculate how much is above? Well, you might say, well, all I got to do is take one and then subtract the fraction below, right? Or subtract the, the, the fraction that is submerged. And that would be correct, right? This would then equal the fraction above the water. So this is really my formula. In other words, the fraction above the fraction of her body, height, volume, whatever, above the water level will be equal to one minus than the fraction of her body that's submerged. So I'm gonna write out this formula. Now what I realize is that her fraction submerged is simply just this ratio, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is substitute this ratio on in for fraction submerged. So we realize that her fraction above the water is gonna be equal to one minus now the density of the woman divided by the density of the fluid, which is now seawater. And all we have to do is now plug in, right? So the density of the woman we found before was 960, okay, kilogram per cubic meter. And the density now of seawater, you can look this up, it's 1,025 kilogram per cubic meter. So now all we have to do is just do the calculation here, all right? So here it's going to be uh, 1 minus 0.96 divided by 1025. No, what am I talking about? Not 0.96. Nine, 960. 1 minus 960. I got an answer. I'm like, oh, that doesn't look too good. So the fraction above in terms of fractional answer will be 0 0.0634. So that's going to be, you know, about 
uh, six hundredths of her body, which is approximately equal to just 6.34%, right? Percents to fractions, fractions to percents should be no problem. So hopefully this helps, guys. Please remember to subscribe and hit the like button if this, if this helped you out. And we'll see you next time. Take care.